43. And um, your boy is about to go um, play a game. So, 5.43, I'm about to head out. I'm going to take my vitamins. Um, my bag's mostly packed, I think. Oh, I don't want to get that. I bought the B12 specifically for the game. Yeah. So, but packed everything. Packed all my toiletries, stuff like that, to shower after the game. Um, otherwise, yeah, pretty... Pretty excited. I got pretty good sleep. Woke up and just kind of... And ready. I'm gonna sleep on the bus, so that's the current plan. But yeah, my hair looks really red in the shot. So yeah. But um, this is the day the Lord has made. I should probably be glad in it. I will probably get some video before I load on the bus, and I'll talk to you guys before breakfast or during breakfast, one of the two. I forgot to mention this. It's cold as balls outside. Like, we're talking 30 degrees cold. And I'm heading over, but it's not too cold because I am in sweats. But it's going to be cold as balls during the game. That's why I bought the thermal pants. So that's kind of why you might see clips of just me shivering. And also the funny thing is, is that because I've experienced it more, I'm not like completely dead. I'm still from Arizona. I'm still one of the uh, the wusses when it comes to the cold, but it's not as bad as the Floridians and the Arizonas that have never experienced this, so it's thoroughly entertaining. I also am 100% going to be like 45 minutes early because we're supposed to load buses at 6.30. So, and when it's currently 5.53, there's not as many people. So I'm going to go and uh, probably get my bag and then just lay on one of the benches and just listen to my music and listen to my game day playlist. Game day. No, I'm just listening to my game day playlist, which is like a mixture of Christian rap, secular rap, and then like one-off Christian rock songs like Skillet's Monster. Yeah, so very eclectic crew. I'm just honestly... There is one song that I might put on there that I need to remember because there's a song that I just get hyped to every time and it's a classical music song. I'm trying to think of what the song is. Cause, okay, Plink Plank Plunk by... Uh, Plink Plank Plunk is a song that makes no sense for me to enjoy it as much as I do, but I freaking love that song. And then probably just a John... Dude, Imperial March. I freaking go hard to the Imperial March. I'm sorry. You feel like freaking Darth Vader when you're just marching up blasting it at the top just like dun 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 yeah yeah exactly so yep wow it's freaking cold I'm so glad we have the sideline parkas we have the sideline jackets thank goodness oh yes the sideline jackets make all the difference those are the sideline jackets they make all the difference they make it so much warmer on the sideline than normal. Tommy, why are you taking so long? We love Tommy. We love our managers, though. We love Tommy. We love KJ. What? I said I love you. Oh. <laughs> I mean, KJ's over there. KJ's going to be a dog next year. We're just, we're just waiting for him to get on the field. I've been to figure out some eligibility stuff. The NCAA didn't like him, apparently. Shoot. But we'll get him next year and he'll be a dog. Look at that. Look at, look at, look at. That's just all my stuff. All my stuff in that bag. I definitely did not put, like, all of my clothes and all of my stuff in there. But I did. Also, unintentionally left my water bottle here, so I'm going to put this on my, on my, on my locker. And then I'll bring it back after the game. But, yeah. Just smushy up next to Then I sat next to Ellie. And then Boy No Love. So then I sat next to him. It's, it's, the the it's the blog. The I need. I'm be excited. Fan favorite right here. <laughs> Fan favorite. Fan favorite back, is back right there. I made it. You did it. Oh, you made it. It was, it was, I, I was asleep. I slept. I was not about to lug my camera in. So. That's why.
he's been wanting to be on it. He's like, I want to get in the vlog. I just don't want to go over What do I get for being a subscriber? Yeah, what do we get, Red? I get like some comments. Get you. Exactly. Can I get some ad revenue? Ad revenue? I don't get ad revenue. I need way more subscribers. Can I shout out my socials for being a subscriber? Yeah, go follow my Twitter. I'm not posting. Go follow my Twitter. Go follow my Twitter. Oh. Okay, so quick breakdown. We just got to Morris. This is their lockers. It looks like a high school locker. They are orange. Their their yellow is nasty. It's a nasty yellow. I said. So I'm not gonna have any video from the game like I did last week. If I have any plays or clips, I'll post them from the live stream. Logan, Logan, Logan. Oh, I'm an SOS in this room, bro. No Wi-Fi and it's cold. I'm miserable. <laughs> At least you're playing. <laughs> I'm also playing. I just would like to like to point that out. I was more saying that in the sense that there are guys here who are just going to stand on the sideline and suffer. <laughs> you guys are freaking... Oh, my gosh. You guys are being spazzes. Okay, I'll talk to you guys after the game. We're all show fit yeah, checking. I'll talk, I'll talk, talk to you guys the yeah. next episode. Okay, it's currently Sunday at 2.30 p.m. I woke up about a couple hours ago and I, I, got, I got out of bed at like 1 and started getting ready for the day shower and all that. You guys are seeing this on the Saturday video or would, would be Sunday. I'm, I'm filming it this the same day. This is getting posted. I honestly didn't want to talk to you guys after the game. Uh, the game sucked. It was a 56 to 23 loss, and I'm gonna leave it at that. I did have a couple of tackles and played all right on special teams, so it was. Regardless of that, it was it, it is what it is. Um, we now have a bye week before we go and have our travel vlog at Green Greenville, which is an overnight. So that's kind of where it's at. I'm gonna break down. I'm gonna talk about. Um, uh, the Isaiah stuff and the Matthew stuff right now, and then after that, pray. And then I'll, uh, and then I'll, le I'll let you guys be on your way for this this episode. So Isaiah, Isaiah, where is it? One second. What's interesting is is that as uh, because I had to read uh, I read Isaiah before I read Matthew. It's it's interesting because the include there is an inclusion. This is the verse that stuck out to me, which ironically ended up being pretty um. Pretty cool. So, it says, it's Isaiah 9, 6. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. If I'm not mistaken, which I probably am, because I don't know the Bible that well, this is... I know in Isaiah, at least, this is the first mention of the Messiah. This is the first mention of, of Jesus. That we know him as, or the Messiah. Like, 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 as we know him as the key. He is wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. That's something we know Jesus was and is. So, that was, that was cool. That stuck out to me. Also, another verse that stuck out to me when I was reading was, um, was verse, uh, it was, it was chapter 7, verse 9 the second half of it, because the first half is just talking about stuff, but the first half is like, the head of Ephraim is Samaria, and the head of Samaria is the son of, of R Ramalia. There we go. It says, if you are not firm in faith, you will not be firm at all. And, wow, did that hit me. Because the thought of, like, just... If you're not firm in faith, you're not firm at all. And that just, I think, emphasizes the need of faith in God. 
like a hundred percent wholeheartedly to, it talks about the need of faith in God because just yeah if you're not firm in your faith you'll not be firm at all so that was the other verse that stuck out to me that wasn't like oh Jesus um and then Matthew the Matthew 3 4 this is the one that I was Saturday but today's Sunday but I'm talking about it because I've written whatever this is video Matthew um so Matthew 3 through 4 so Matthew 3 is talking about uh, ba the baptism of Jesus and John the Baptist and holy crap does John does John the Baptist just like just just roast the crap out of the, the Pharisees and Sadducees. Wait, is it the Pharisees and Sadducees? I'm just double checking. It's Pharisees and Sadducees. Yeah, it's Pharisees and Sadducees. So he goes, this verse, chapter 3, verse 11. I baptize you with water for repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear this threshing floor and gather his wheat into the barn, but the chaff he will burn with an unquenchable fire. I needed the, 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 like, the study guide thing to help me understand this, because this was crazy, but it said... Um, Baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. It says, John's, John's water baptism will be replaced by the baptism associated with the Messiah. He who is coming, the Holy Spirit will be poured out. Unbelievers will receive the judgment of eternal fire. Even those who repent may endure a purifying fire. Crazy. Just crazy. Um, so, that was cool. And then also... Just kind of the, 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 the back on my relation of craziness in the Bible. So Jesus, I, I understand there was more to the stories. And, and in Matthew, it doesn't break down the stories of like Peter and then and, and the brothers. But it's just Jesus calls for his first disciples and it just says, it's just, while well, he was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting nets into the sea, who, who, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. Just immediately. Homie's just tossing, like, you know, fishing, doing his thing. And then Jesus is like, I'll make you fishers of men, follow me. And he's like, okay. That's not how it happened, but that's just... The way it's worded in this, 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 in Matthew makes it sound like that, which I think is just so comedic. It's just the idea of Jesus walking up to be like, eh, follow me, I'll be Yankee Fishers of Men. And they're like, go! Cool. It'd be like somebody walking up to me as I'm working on a homework assignment and being like, hey, Jesus is coming up to me working on a homework assignment. I'm like, I like, I have this stuff. And he's like, hey, follow me. And I'm like, okay. Drop everything and go. Like, that's what it felt like. But... You, you're hearing my rambling and my, um, how you say, uh, could, could, uh, my, my, uh, my scatterbrain. There we go. Got there. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but I'm gonna pray and then I will, uh, yeah. See you guys tomorrow. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for just continuing to be with me and be, be by my side, Lord. Lord, I pray that you would just. Just protect the viewers and give us strong faith that we may stand firm in, Lord. Lord, and I just pray that you continue to do your will through us, Lord. In your heavenly, holy, and mighty name. Amen. Blessings.